What's up guys? We are back for another review and last week we saw some chaos, some madness with the San Diego Comic-Con exclusives that went up for NECA, so those movie Ninja Turtles. And I did score an order of those, so you're going to see those on the channel eventually, but it's given me a touch of turtle fever. I kind of want to go back and look at some of their older sets that I have, as well as another set that isn't NECA that we'll see here shortly. But the first one that I figured we'd do is one that makes the most sense, so that's the, the 2008 set of comic-style turtles. So these are um, the four-pack, obviously. These guys have been bootlegged from here to the moon and back again, like they are uh, prevalent on the bootleg black market type thing, uh, but I distinctly remember buying this set at my local comic shop in 2008. Um, they came out in various other uh, packaging, clamshells, the tube packaging uh, with different things. So these are just basically the turtles with their weapons. There are other things that come with some of those different versions, and then there were exclusive versions too. But this is the one that I have, and I've had it for a very long time. It's never really been on display either. It has been opened. Uh, I used to display it at work in my in my office. Um, but as far as this set goes, uh, you've got the four turtles here on the front in the window, and you've got some turtle art on the front, some comic style artwork with the baby turtles, and then the turtles here on the side with that comic style logo. And then on the back, you've got a product shot of the turtles along with some more comic style artwork. So it's very much a comic centric pack here and uh, I'm actually pretty excited to tear these guys back open again and take a look at them. So let's get to it. All right guys and here they are out of that box and like I mentioned previously uh, I haven't had these guys on display out of the packaging for quite a while. They've just been in that box in storage uh, kind of taken up space for a long time, but I want to get these back out. They're going to go in one of my cases at some point once I get that uh, turtle display going, but I'm really excited to actually play around with these and getting these in my hand make me realize just why I bought these in the first place. They do look absolutely amazing. Uh, like I mentioned though, these are just one of a few versions of these turtles. So, uh, you know, we've got Raph, Donnie, Mikey, and Leo here, but these are just kind of the base turtles. So there was the clamshell packaging that had, I think they had bases with them. There was the tube packaging, and I think those had the bases as well as some baby turtles. Uh, there is a New York Comic Con set of these four turtles. It comes in a similar box, a four-pack box, and it has the baby turtles as well. I think it also has the bases. Someone correct me if I'm wrong on this, because I don't own those. I don't really know. Uh, there's just a lot of versions and a ton of bootlegs out for these. And then there was the San Diego Comic Con exclusive set of these, but they're black and white because, you know, the turtle comic book was originally in black and white, so that was the kind of the, the shtick for that initial push. Uh, there are also, like I mentioned, bootlegs out there for these, tons of them, and some of the key giveaways is that a lot of times those bootlegs will have the color-coded uh, bandanas. They won't be red, they'll be their signature colors from the cartoon. So uh, that's neither here nor there, though. So we will look at these uh, individually. They're all basically the same for the most part, uh, but they have, have a little bit different in terms of sculpts, and of course they've got different weapons. But let's kick it off and take a look at articulation. I've singled out Donatello here for articulation purposes. We're just going to deal with one because they're all the same in terms of joint systems. So we've got a ball jointed head, sits on top of that long turtle neck. You can bob it side to side and up and down, and then you can rotate it as well. So it's got a swivel, but the neck is also articulated where the neck meets the collarbone. It will rotate and hinge. So there's a wide range of possibilities in terms of how you want to move that head and neck around. Very nice. The shoulders and arms can move all the way out, so about 90 degrees. We, we can swivel them there. We can swivel the bicep. We got a single joint at the elbow, and we've got a hinge and a swivel at the wrist. The legs can do full splits. You can kind of swivel inside that joint. You can kick forward, you can kick back a little bit. We do have double jointed knees. They don't go back too terribly far. I mean, it comes down to the fact that the, the ankles on these guys are absolutely huge, the shins. And then we do have a hinge at the ankle as well as a slight rocker. Uh, it's not a whole lot because again, I mean, look at those feet, they're humongous. So they kind of take up a lot of that joint system space there, but the rocker is present. It's just not all that useful. All that said and done, uh, in terms of making them stable with a rocker, they're so big and flat-footed to begin with that they really have a hard time falling over, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but you can get them into some kind of ugly poses depending on how you got those feet positioned. Now, as far as their overall design, the look, the feel, the aesthetic, paint, sculpt, all that stuff, I think these guys are pretty rock solid. They have a very, very, very comic-styled aesthetic, so that vintage 80s comic book look and feel, and this holds a special place for me. This isn't everybody's turtles. You know, a lot of people's turtles my age are the cartoon, but this is something that I I have grown up with. I know this design. I know these turtles, and they, they scream that vintage look, and I think they're very faithful recreations in figure form. They are all very, very similar. 
So in terms of their overall look and feel, they're all very, very similar in terms of what they offer. Most of the line work, the paint is all very, very much the same. Uh, and they, they share pretty much the exact same sculpt with a few minor differences. Obviously, Leo here has his scabbards on his back. He is the only one that has any weapon storage. So you can take those swords out and pop them in the scabbards and they sit there just fine. Uh, but I really, really dig the, the line work on these. They look like they have some incredibly detailed comic style ink wash on them. So I really like that. It pops. It looks really, really vibrant, even for it being kind of a tan and black color scheme with those uh, with those belts and the pads. There is a lot of black wash on these figures inside of their musculature. So there's black wash or black line work inside of there, especially on the shells. Just take a look at the shell work on that. They look fantastic. They're all very, very similar, though. Uh, for the most part, they have kind of the same nicks here and there. Uh, I think they are the same thing. You can tell that there are some differences with these figures from what you might expect to get from other turtles, though. For one, the big one, we got the tail down there. And whether it's whether that's placed in a family-friendly spot or not, the tails are present on all of the turtles, which I think is appropriate. It's, a, it's true to the design. Uh, it, of course, is very different from what we see in most turtle designs, but that's the way these guys are. They, of course, have very different head sculpts as well. That's kind of the one place where these guys uh, differentiate each other, aside from their weapons. So Mikey has his kind of uh, crazed smile going on. He looks, he looks like he's ready to fight, but he looks like he is going to have a blast doing it. Uh, Raphael has a very mean expression on his face. Leo is just kind of his normal ready-to-fight mode. Donnie over here, though, has the one that is kind of the odd man out. You don't see his teeth, but he very much looks like he is just tired of whatever is happening right now. He's ready to get it over with or he's about to lay somebody out. So I wouldn't mess with Donnie. If I had to pick with any of them, he he looks like he is the one not to mess with. And like I said, these guys do have, and you've seen them this entire time, they do have their signature weapons. So Donnie has his bow staff, and this guy actually comes apart, so you can more easily pop it in his hand. Leo has his two katanas, which have very nicely painted, fully painted hilts. Raph has his size, and you can do two different methods of having him hold him. You can have it where he's gripping the inner portion of the blades, or you can have him hold it by the handle, which I always dig this particular style of holding it. I don't know why, I just think it looks cool. And then Mikey has his nunchucks, and they do have real metal chains, and you can get him posed with the nunchuck under his armpit, which is one of my favorite poses for that. I don't know why, go figure, I just dig it. So, and in terms of the overall look and feel of these figures, I'd be really hard-pressed to have any true issues with them. The only one thing that I have to mention, and I don't know if it was a problem with the, with the figures in general, or maybe if it was just mine, but on my Mikey figure, uh, when I first pulled him out, and I don't know if it's easy to see or not, you can see that the knee pad stuck to the ankle or to the shin, and it pulled some of that paint off. I'm sure I could scrape that off. I just never have, uh, and now I can, I can mention it. Obviously, it doesn't matter 10 years later, but that was just a thing. Other than that, though, these figures are pretty much flawless for me, and I think they look 100% like what anybody would expect a comic-style set of turtles to look like. So I suppose at the end of the day, this review could have just been, you know, these figures are awesome. I am ecstatic that I got to play around with them again, and I'm really glad that I bought them 10 years ago. But honestly, that's kind of where I'm at with these. They are fantastic toys. I was pretty much head over heels when I got these things 10 years ago, and it's been a great fun time getting them out and playing with them again. And now they're going on display for at least a long while. Uh, I would urge anybody who really truly loves this style of turtles to track these guys down. You are going to pay a hefty price at this point because, again, they are so old. But bootlegs are out there, and also beware of those. Uh, but NECA really showed what they were going to do with this license when they finally got their hands on it. Of course, uh, things kind of fumbled around for a while, and it took them a long time to actually get the ball rolling again. But now we've got so much NECA TMNT stuff that, I mean, you have to be content with what we're getting at this point. And I'm very excited to see what we can get from them in the future. But this was the big set for me. It still is. And if you're a comic style turtle fan, this is a must have. That's pretty much all there is to it. So that's going to do it for this look at the NECA comic style Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles set. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know what you guys think. And until next time.